Hey guys, this is Veron from Speaking for the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a vector rendering digital art of sorts. So it's not your usual illustration. Um, we are actually going to be doing a sword for one of my characters. Because uh, I realized that when I was looking at his character design that I didn't really make a weapon for him, which I usually do, especially for characters that I, you know, that fight. So I usually design a weapon for them. But I think I forgot to draw one for him, so we are doing a vector of that right now. And this to, you know, keep my vector skills alive. It also is a good way to make sure that I have a nice, um, editable, non- cannot be destroyed ish copy of the weapon. So we're doing that now. So so the character we're making this for is one of my original characters. His name is Kalilion Orina. He is a dragon character, so he doesn't really need a weapon, but I decided to give him one anyway. In case he stays in like a demi human form, so he has a weapon with him when he can't use, you know fire and stuff like that <laughs> so yeah we're working on this sword and i wanted to give it a very thin light blade kind of elvish inspired look to it so i did search up on pinterest kind of um for inspiration and ideas like what elements are most associated with associated with like, an elven sword so there were different interpretations depending on which franchise it came from, but uh, elves seem to have a reputation of being like really swift and light and fleet-footed. I mean, that's also swift, but you know, you get the point. So I'm kind of going with this design. Um, I actually do quite like it. It's very delicate. I don't know how much good that guard will actually be in, in reality, but hey, suspension of disbelief, I guess. So what I'm doing is that despite this being a kind of flat vector thing, um, I am still adding gradients and highlights and layer effects on top of the actual shapes it's just so that it has more dimension to it. So I'm very familiar with doing flat objects and shapes in Illustrator since that's what I used to do or that's what I do as a graphic designer. Um, that's sort of the trend right now. But there is a slow trend heading towards more interesting, I guess, more, more, um, how do you put this? Like, the shapes are starting to have like shadows and highlights again, so the flat look is starting to be phased out and it's heading more towards a 3D look. So I wanted to practice that a bit more with my personal works. So yes, this all in Illustrator, these um these vectors, the difference from it being a JPEG or why I'm not doing this in Photoshop is that the vectors are a bunch of shapes and these are pretty much calculated using math by the program itself. So all I need to do is essentially draw the curves and the lines and the shapes. And even if I scale this up or scale this down and squish it and whatever there will be no destruction of the actual thing. It will scale and squish as much as I want it without having any weird pixels or I can return it to its former shape by manually without anything being weird or stuff like that. So that's why vectors are very important. Um, a lot of people use this for logos so that, you know, the logos are still editable. Um, Again, you can move around the elements as you wish without really fearing for the safety of your elements. And I used them for the swords because it's practice. <laughs> so generally what I do is that I do make the vector weapons and these will serve as a base for stuff that I use in my drawings. But since these look very different from how I usually draw, 
there are two ways I can go I can go about this. Either I put the actual weapon there and then try to match the style of the weapon to do how I did the drawing, or it's there's a base and I sort of redraw or chase over the vector drawing or vector weapon that I made. So um, I'm currently working on a piece. I haven't really continued working on a piece of the. Uh, what I did was that since the weapon wasn't really the right proportion to the character when I made it, I pretty much just cut up the, sh the shape and I pasted it on the character, made sure the the width and the length of the lens or the weapon is correct, and I pretty much just redrew over that. So it's just pretty much a base. It serves as a way to make sure that I keep a good copy of all the details and little trinkets and things of the weapon somewhere and can be like a consistent reference for myself. So these vector drawings typically take me... How long does this one take me? So the rough footage for this one and I guess this doesn't really count bakes and stuff like that but the rough footage amounted to two hours um, that of course doesn't include like the sketching of the weapon on pen and paper that's like a whole set of different hours to be counted but actually making just this final product was around two hours for me well I guess in other news I'm not sure when this video will come out I've sort of been soft into Genshin Impact just a little bit so you already know that I play a good number of gacha games, you know that I've played the Grand Order, if you've been on this channel for a while, I've done Fan Art for Love Live, which is another gacha game as well. I've, I'm, I guess I'm still currently playing, sort of, Tales of Crestoria. Um, yeah, gacha games are sort of my, <laughs> my go-to games, kinda. I did also play Honda Impact for a little while, but Genshin Impact is currently taking the world by storm, gaming world by storm. It's a open world game, and I'm pretty sure if you're into games and anime, you'd have been flooded by like ads of it by now. Like, even me, I already started playing the game and all, but I still got like an ad every other video for Genshin Impact. So I'm pretty sure you've already sort of heard about it. It's something like a Zelda clone. So I guess or, I guess that's what people call it, but you know, open world, exploration, and stuff like that. But yeah, I've been playing it. I've been pretty much free to playing it. I, I don't plan on dropping any money on it yet. Fake and Order is pretty much still my main game. As of recording this video, the Oniland event, which is the caster shooting event, is currently running. So I'm currently playing that, and I'm also trying to play Genshin. I mean, like every day, I guess. Every now <laughs> and not as much as that go, definitely not. But yeah. So I guess the question is, how about you? <laughs> Are you interested in video games or gacha games in general? And if so, have you been sucked into Genshin? Are you slowly being sucked into Genshin? Because I feel like every other person I know has has tried or is playing Genshin. So yeah, <laughs> let me know in the comments, I guess. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, consider liking this video. And if you really did enjoy it, consider subscribing to the channel as well. I put out content every whenever I can. <laughs> I can't even say a date anymore. Oh well. Uh, stay safe. Bye bye.